Good afternoon and welcome to the homestead. So it's a really sunny day out and we're sitting here playing with our DIY 5048 which we'll do a whole other video on. But one of the questions we get asked a lot is can you overdrive it? So like let's see we have 24 250 watt modules here we have 10 315 watt modules over there that's somewhere in the neighborhood of 10,000 watts of PV. Now granted there's some shade on the uh, 3100 watt array over there. So like, why not just hack a whole bunch of crap together with wire nuts and let's feed all like 9 or 10 kilowatts into the uh, DIY 5048. So you can see here on the screen it's limiting to 4.27 kilowatts. So the, the 5048 has a max charge capability of 80 amps. So 80 amps at a relatively low voltage that we're running at because we're selling to the grid is about 4200 watts. If we crank the voltage up to like 59, that would go up to about 5000 watts. So when the tech support guy at midnight tells you that it's good for 5000 watts of PV, that's at its high battery voltage. So if your battery is down around 52 or 53, you're not going to see all that. But the long answer, short answer is, yes, you can overdrive it. Yes, you can put too much PV on it. It seems to regulate really well. Um, it seems to do what it's supposed to do. And I was just looking at the app. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll hold it up here out of the sunlight. Maybe you guys can, yeah, let me get stable. Maybe you guys can come into that app and check it out. So this is using the new Wi-Fi dongle that uh, Midnight is going to start offering and it's cloud based. So you plug the Wi-Fi dongle into the 5048 and it reports out to the cloud and then you go create an account on the cloud and here's what you see. And then you can do things like click on the battery and it'll bring you up the battery voltage and the current at the moment. In our case it's 79 amps leaving here going to the battery. Um, and you know you can look at history, you can look at the uh, data, stuff like that. But it's a pretty cool little app, not a lot of money, I don't know what Midnight's going to charge for that little dongle up there, but that's that's it right here. So this is a Wi-Fi dongle plugged into the 5048. But yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at, we're, um, we're kind of tearing into all this here because Midnight actually flew an engineer out, he's getting a little sleep right at the moment. but. His job is going to be to try to finish up all the feature sets on the uh, Hawks Bay and the Barcelona. So we're just kind of having a little fun until he's ready to go to work. And we thought we would see if we could blow up a, a midnight inverter. But so far it seems to be tolerating that really well. We may, uh, we may try a little harder another day, put some loads on in the house. One of the things we're going to be doing next week is we're going to be testing the new Midnight Rosie, which is a 7-ish thousand watt split phase inverter, and their their CEO, Robin, keeps swearing to me that it'll start any air compressor I can find. Well, you guys have probably seen the big Ingersoll Rand in the shop, I think a 5 or 7 horsepower. We've tried to start that on many different inverter systems just to see will it start, and we've failed on every single one. We have yet to get that to start on I think a quad stack of Magnums, a dual stack of Trace SWs. So we're going to see if it'll start on the Rosie. He told me to try that first thing. If it blows up, send it back. So anyway, that's kind of it for the DIY. Um, I know there's a lot of fan noise and stuff going on, but we just kind of wanted to see what happens when you feed way too much PV to a DIY 5048, MN 5048 DIY. So we'll get another video up pretty quick of the um, actual inverter, its features, what's different about it. I know a lot of you have been asking about the 3548 DIY and that's under the bench. We installed the 5048 because they sent it to us to get a little time on it. So we'll, we'll do a video on that. We'll kind of recap the 3548, talk about the 5048 and in another three or four weeks we're going to have the 10,000 watt DIY that will do split phase out, sell to the grid, and has dual high voltage MPPT inputs. So kind of a little competitor for Solark, I guess maybe. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.